Hey family, welcome back to I Love Me Me Me. So several weeks ago, I did a series on long distance relationships. This one, I found an article. You guys know that I love to read. So I found an article on the 10 stages that every long distance relationship will go through. Today, I will only discuss seven of them. I will definitely link the full article down in the description box below and I'll discuss it right after this. All right, fam, thanks so much for coming back. So the playlist is absolutely down in the description box below regarding all of the videos that I talked about in this series before as far as long distance as far as long distance relationships go. And so we're going to go ahead and talk about this article and the 10 stages that every long distance relationship goes through. Again, I'm only going to discuss seven. If you want to know the other three, click the link in the article in the description box below. So let's go ahead and jump in. All right, the first thing that you guys are going to go through is dread. This is going to be the factor that is actually going to tell you if you and your boo are going to make it through this relationship um, despite the distance. Because most people that dread it, they don't talk about it, which is one of the issues. They just kind of wait until that date creeps up on them and then they're trying to decide am I going to do this or not? Or are they thinking that everything is going to be the same? And when there is the dread plus the non um, talks about it, that is definitely a recipe for disaster. So the very first thing again is that you guys are going to go through the dread stage before you even separate from your boo. The next stage that the relationship will go through is hope. You'll basically be feeling like our love is going to stand the test of time. We're going to prove others wrong who don't think that we can do this. And, you know, we want to stay together. And basically that you guys, you two can beat the odds and your relationship can work out. So there's definitely going to be that hope that is there for you too. The third thing that will occur in your relationship, especially now that you guys have separated, is that you'll be wondering what your partner is doing when you are not around, especially since, again, there is the distance. These things will definitely occur, especially if they post things on social media and you happen to see them having fun and it might be of the opposite sex and you just aren't really realizing what is actually going on. So there will be some stress, some stress and some worry when it comes to what your partner is doing because again, you used to be with them all the time, which actually leads me into point number 4, which is the trust. You're going to start to worry how much the two of you trust one another. And that's why it's very important for you guys to build the trust before the long distance actually occurs. So that way, when you are in the long distance phase, you'll be able to ask questions, actually hear what your partner is saying, accept what they are saying, and move on from said topic. But you'll be open to answering the questions as the person who is away and you won't think nothing of it. You'll be able to answer them. Your partner will listen to you. You guys will discuss it if needed further and then, but you'll move on from it. So that trust absolutely must be there before the long distance relationship actually occurs, but you're still going to be wondering about it. But as long as you don't hide it, as long as you um, ask questions and the other person answers them, you guys should be able to move forward. The, the purpose of this, though, is that you have to be truthful. You have to be truthful in what you're doing and what you're saying, because otherwise there is going to be a breakdown somewhere else in the relationship later on. Unfortunately, the next thing that you're going to go through is habit. And what that means is that the spontaneity will be actually removed from, from, from you guys' relationship for this period of time. You're going to know that when you wake up, you're going to see the good morning text or the good night text. Or, you know, you're going to be checking in at different times. Like, okay, I'm out of school or out of work. I'm not doing this project at say it time. Call me here. Text me here so we can make sure that we connect. So there is going to be some habits that are formed 
informed why you guys are on this long distance relationship journey. The sixth thing that you will absolutely love and adore about being in a long distance relationship is that you'll have comfort in the fact of knowing that with everything going around in this crazy world that you actually have somebody to lean on, somebody to, you know, call and talk to whenever, you know what I mean? So you'll find comfort in when nobody else can support you, when nobody else is around you, to hear you, to understand you, that you actually have this person that does that for you. And the final thing that I'm going to address, number seven, is the uncertainty that shall come up, at least from time to time, because you're going to be wondering, especially when the fights come, this is usually when this starts to happen and you start to wonder, why am I doing all of this? going through this pain, going through this uncertainty, all for this one person. You're going to be wondering if it if it's all worth it, if they're worth all of this, if they're worth you sacrificing the time that you're basically waiting on them. All right, fam, as I already mentioned, the full article is down in the description box below. But definitely let me know what you thought about this list. Is there anything else on here that you thought I could have explained better or that, um, you know, you wish you would have heard or seen on this particular list? Just definitely let me know down in the comment section below. If you have been through a long distance relationship, can you relate to any of these things that I have suggested or talked about? And if you know somebody who could actually benefit from listening to this list, then please pass along this video, share it with them. Definitely give me thumbs up and think about subscribing, especially if this is your very first time here. Because here at I Love Me Me Me, I'm supplying you guys with all of the tips and tools in order to have happy, healthy, romantic relationships. I'll see you again in another video. Deuces.